you look into the mirror. It's a full length one. Not like the one that cuts you off at the collarbone, no. It's the one that goes down to your knees at least. So you stare. You stare at yourself. The congealed clumps that cluster around the middle and the rolls that protrude right above your flattened bottom. You flick the flesh with your finger. It barely moves. It is a thick, solid mold. And the stare continues. This time from the roundness through the glass in front of you. You pinch the roll of flap that flops above your pelvis. It fills your hands. You press your palms against the side, pushing the flesh until it forms a ball in the middle. You wish something could cut it off, melt it off even. You turn to the side. You take a deep breath and hold it in, but the rolls remain unperturbed, so you let the breath go. The nipples of your breast drop at waist length, sharing the same line as your belly bottom. It is heavy. You feel the pain through your shoulders, your neck and your back. Again, just right above that flattened bottom. The breasts, they now resemble the udders of a cow. Thankfully, there are no stretch marks on them yet. It seems you are blessed with good skin. At least that's what they tell you. You raise your hands up to reveal dried up scabs of undergarment wire dug through flesh and a red rash from elasticized straps rubbing against hot yellow skin. The price you have to pay to keep these sagging bags of mammary tissue in place. Your face, still pretty though, cute, childlike. You remember times where they stared at you. The kinds of stares that made you fear to ask for seconds. Their eyes roving through every wobble, their words prodding each sticky roly-poly piece of flesh like a pin pricking for a quick deflation. You hoped it would. You hoped their words would prick you open and the gunk inside would ooze out. Drip by drip, clump by clump, you would shrink until you became beautiful. You brush your teeth, then brush your tongue. You dig the toothbrush deeper and deeper and deeper until it all came out. You did it many times more. It became routine. Eat till you could barely breathe and brush till your throat spasmed and like an open faucet, everything came pouring out. There was talk of the putrid smell, but still talk that you were getting smaller. You still walk, brush, and touch wood. You will still shrink.